Greeting, Montauk students, faculty, parents, staff. My name is Jeff Campbell. I'm the director of building grounds for the Montauk School District. I'm here to talk to you today about uh, typical classroom setup, the cleaning products that we'll be using, the, the new signage that you'll see throughout the school for social distancing, and uh, all of those uh, items um, I'm going to go over. So I'm going to start with typical cleaning products that we're using. So my philosophy is disinfecting is not cleaning. So we will come into a room and we will actually clean and spray a desktop with our product, with our spray product. The room, entire room will be wiped down. When I say all touch items, that would be doorknobs, door handles, um, phones, desks, uh, handles, file cabinets, light switches, um, anything that a student would touch, uh, dry erase board, chalkboards, um, and all those items to be included. So they will be sprayed and cleaned using our 3M products um, that we use typically to clean with. The next thing we will be doing then is using our 3M product, our Quat hospital grade disinfectant, which we will then spray all the desktops, all the touch items. Again, we will use a different rag to um, wipe those items down again. Once we do all that, the rooms, the plan is the room's gonna be clean first. The next step then, the employee will come in with the backpack sprayer with the backpack on using the quick care disinfectant, which is the COVID rated disinfectant that we're gonna be using in the classrooms. They will come in with the backpack sprayer on and they will mist the entire room, seats, everything. Now this is just water in here that I'm doing just for a demonstration. You can see it's total, total coverage on everything throughout the room. And this has a three minute dry time, three minute kill time. So once it sits for three minutes, anything that this chemical comes in contact with virus related will be killed. So the next thing I wanna show you is some of the signage that you're gonna see. So you're gonna see this sign at every intersection, basically advising you about your social distancing. You also see one-way arrows in all the hallways showing, you know, up one way, down the other way, so that we can keep our social distancing in the hallways. You will see this sign at every entrance, face mask required beyond this point. I'm sure everybody that's walked into a store, Giant Eagle, Sheets, have, have seen a sign like this requiring them to have face masks. You will see this sign at every restroom or any place where there's a hand sink, reminding you, just a general reminder, to always wash your hands to help, you know, to stop the spread of germs. You will see this sign also at every entrance. Again, just kind of an overview of all the things that you're going to see within the building to stop the spread of the germs. And, and help contain the coronavirus. Some of the other products that we will use, should we get a positive test or a suspected positive test or anything like that in the classroom, obviously our go-to product is our bleach and our Clinic Clean products, which you'll see behind me on the desk over there. Um, and those products are absolute guarantee kill products. Um, we, we don't like to or normally won't use those products, especially the bleach in the school, um, anytime that we have possible contact with students because, the, you know, people have different reactions to the bleach, especially. Um, so we don't like to use it, but if we have any issues or we have any virus uh, detections or anything like that, my staff will come in. We'll obviously kill with the bleach first, then we'll come in, we'll clean, then we'll again use our backpack sprayer and that. Um, the last thing that we're going to go over today um, is, is the uh, new the construction updates where we're at and the new uh, heating and uh, air conditioning 
uh, in the entire building. So by the time you come back to school, both Dassin McKinney Elementary School and Monotaw High School will have air conditioning throughout the building. That'll be in every room. Every room will be air conditioned, the gyms, auditorium, offices, everything. Um, what we've done over the summer, obviously, is um, we've installed a new roof because I'm sure many of you uh, have experienced roof leaks over the past couple of years. We've, we've been uh, fighting a lot of roof leaks. So we have a new roof over the school. You'll also see new windows. Um, we've installed new thermopane windows um, throughout the school. Um, so in an uh, effort to cut our energy costs down, um, you'll see some new doorways and entrances. Um, but you'll especially see if you're in every room, uh, new unit ventilators in the room. Um, the units that are throughout the school are equipped with carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide detectors. Um, they also have building computers that um, assure the exact changes of air from the outside uh, into a classroom. So that we are constantly moving fresh air and the unit is actually running behind me. I don't know if you can hear it, it's very quiet, but the unit is running behind me. We have all the classroom units up and running at this time. Um, our anticipated startup date is August 24th of the uh, new chillers, which will give us the air conditioning throughout the building. Um, we are also uh, have installed a new emergency generator that will run 90% uh, of the building. So no more like we experienced last November there, four or five days without school because we, we didn't have power. Um, we will be able to operate. We will have water. Um, drinking water, we will have uh, septic available, we will have heat, we will have AC. All of these items are on the new emergency generator and we'll be able to operate um, in the event of a, uh, an ice storm or emergency um, and both schools will be able to operate. So we won't have to, to experience that anymore. The last thing that we're going to show you today is we're gonna, we have a classroom set up here um, and, and uh, it is set up with the six foot social distancing and with the assistance of uh, Mr. Stone running the computer, we're going to take a look at what that what this typical classroom will look like with six foot social distancing. So you can see how far apart all the desk chair accommodations are. You will see we have about 18 uh, desk chair accommodations in this classroom right now with six foot social distancing. So. We're prepared for you to come back. Um, we, we certainly want to welcome you back and we, we'd love to see you on the first day of school. Um, stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you on the first day. Thank you very much.